let me tell you a secret. The success rate of harmonic patterns is actually higher compared to the other classic price patterns like triangles, wedges or flags. And not many traders use them, despite the fact they provide very precise conditions for entering and offer a high reward to risk ratio when traded properly. Today we'll highlight one of the best harmonic patterns, the Gartley formation. So if you could, like, subscribe to the channel and stick around for the full video. The Gartley pattern resembles an M or W shape on the chart, depending on whether it is bullish or bearish, and consists of five points on the chart. These points are marked with an X, A, B, C, and D. Gartley is a retracement and a continuation pattern at the same time, depending on its location in a trend that is formed when a trend temporarily changes direction before continuing in its original direction and it provides a low risk opportunity for traders to enter the market where the pattern finishes and the trend comes back. The Gartley pattern depends on several movements in price. Every swing has to confirm certain Fibonacci levels. To make it very simple, let's look at each component of the Gartley structure. The movement begins with an X to A and there are no specifics for this leg. The first leg gets formed when the price sharply rises or declines from point X to point A. This is the longest leg of the pattern. Then we have the A to B swing. This is where Fibonacci becomes relevant to the pattern. The AB leg will not retrace past point X. If it does, the pattern is considered invalid. The AB swing should be approximately 61.8% of the XA leg. Next is the BC swing. This movement should be a retracement of 38.2 or 88.6 of the movement of the AB leg. If the BC move retraces above point A, the Gartley pattern is invalid. Next is the CD swing. This should be an extension of the BC leg. If BC is 38.2 of AB, then CD should respond to the 1 to 7.2 extension of BC. If BC leg is 88.6 of AB, then CD leg should be 161.8 extension of the BC swing. After the completion of the CD leg, you measure the overall movement of A to D. It should be a 78.6% retracement of the change in price of X to A. I know it might seem complicated at first, but if you use TradingView, you can use this tool and you can start drawing the pattern. You just need four price swings. You just place the tool at the extreme of the swings and start backtesting. The ideal Gartley will be defined by specific Fibonacci retracements. One of the most important numbers in the pattern is the completion of point D at the 786 retracement of XA leg. Although the price action might exceed this number slightly, it should not exceed point X. Another important point in the pattern is the 618 retracement of the XA leg. The AB leg should reverse very close to this retracement. The 618 retracement at point B is critical because it will establish another Fibonacci projection, usually the 1 to 7 of the BC leg, in a potential reversal zone at point D. The best part about the Gartley patterns is that they indicate both the timing and the magnitude of the price movements. The bullish Gartley starts with the bullish XA move. AB is then bearish. BC is bullish and CD is bearish again and you expect a reversal of the CD move. This means that a bullish Gartley implies a price increase from point D. The full target of the pattern is the 161.8 Fibonacci extension of the AD move, which resembles the ABCD harmonic pattern upon completion. And we have three intermediary targets before that. Target 1 is the B swing, target 2 is the C swing, and target 3 is the A swing.
the bearish Gartley has a bearish XA move, a bullish AB move, a bearish BC move, and a bullish CD move. A bearish Gartley implies a price decrease from point D. The expected price target of the bearish pattern is the 161.8% extension of the AD move, with the intermediary targets at swings B, C, and A. To enter a Gartley trade, you should first take note of the pattern and then confirm if it's valid or not. First you outline the four price swings on the chart and you make sure they respond to their respective Fibonacci levels. You mark every price action swing with the important letters X, A, B, C and D. By doing this, you will be able to estimate the overall size of the pattern and get a clear idea about the parameters. If you have a bullish Gartley, for example, you open a long trade if the CD leg found support at the 127.2% or the 161.8% Fibonacci level of the BC move. You should always use a stop loss order regardless of your preferred entry signal to protect yourself from any rapid or unexpected price move. The stop loss order for a bullish Gartley trade should be found below the X point on the chart pattern. For a bearish Gartley, your stop loss order should be found above the pattern's X point. As for take profits, you enter a position after the bounce at point D and then scale out at different levels. Target 1 is the B swing, target 2 is the C swing, target 3 is the A swing, and the final target is the 161.8% of the AD move. These four levels on the chart are the four minimum targets of the bullish Gartley, but that doesn't mean that the bullish trend will end when the price completes point E. You are always free to use additional price action rules or a trailing stop to exit your trade. If the price momentum continues to show signs of strength, you can keep a small portion of the trade open. Use price action clues such as trend lines, support and resistance techniques, candle patterns and volume to find the right entry and exit point. And generally, if the price action shows no signs of interrupting the new trend, just stay in the trade for as long as you can. This pattern is even more significant if it's preceded by a major price move. Often, after a major price move, the Gartley will begin with a strong counter move which becomes the X to A leg. The price will appear to be consolidating, attempting to stabilize before making another strong move. If a Gartley forms after such price action from my backtesting, this pattern will prove to be a substantial opportunity. In addition, the stop loss required in the trade will be relatively small relative to the potential reversal. The primary reason for this powerful opportunity is that a successful reversal will resume the trend that was established by the initial XA price move. The bullish Gartley after a strong sell-off is a difficult opportunity to perceive. When the price forms this pattern, it might seem as if the market is making lower highs, especially since point C is below point A after the initial bounce. However, the pattern is indicating a potential buy at the potential reversal zone. The beauty of this setup is that it requires a very small amount of risk to see if the trade will work out. Since this is an unusually good setup, the potential profit is very large in comparison to the amount needed to be risked. The stop loss should be placed, of course, just below X point. This is a great example of a guard lay after a severe decline. The potential reversal zone was very clear. It had three harmonic numbers within a very narrow range. AB is the 61.8% of XA. BC is the 88.6% of AB. And CD is the 161.8% extension of BC. At the same time, AD is 78.6% of XA. Since this is a bullish Gartley setup, the expected price move is to the upside. For this reason, you would prepare to buy when the CD leg finishes at the 161.8% of the BC leg and the price action bounces upwards. 
the stop loss would have been placed just under X point. You can see that this situation required only a small stop to risk in exchange for a bigger gain. The first target of this long trade is located at the level of point B. The second target is at point C and it also gets accomplished. The price action also reaches the level of point A, which is the next target on the chart. And our last target, located at the 161.8 Fibonacci extension of the AD price move. A bearish Gartley after a strong rally is a very powerful reversal signal as well. Essentially, a market that cannot rally to new highs after a considerable move usually indicates serious weakness. In this example, the pattern forms after a strong rally. In this setup, point X is usually an important high point for the price. The figure starts with a bearish XA move. AB is then bullish and BC is bearish. CD then reverses the bearish BC move. The pattern should complete in an area where several harmonic projections converge. AB takes 61.8 of XA. BC is the 88.6 level of AB. And CD reaches the 161.8 extension of BC. When the CD move is finished, and the price creates a bearish bounce from the 161.8 extension of BC, we confirm that the bearish Gartley is valid. So a good sell zone is here, placing a stop loss order above the swing at point X. The first target at point B gets completed rapidly. The next targets located at points C and A were also reached. And the final target at the 161 extension of the AD move. The Gartley is a great pattern that occurs frequently on all time frames and in all types of markets and is 100% price action based. The thing that works about harmonic patterns in general is that they use the confluence method, meaning that they expect reactions from clusters of certain levels defined by Fibonacci retracements. They work because Fibonacci retracements are used by many traders and their visibility makes reactions more likely thus increasing the predictive power of the patterns. If you are interested in seeing more harmonic patterns and price action videos, leave us a like. This way we'll know if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And check out our academy program if you want to further level up your trading. Until next time.